hello everyone today i am going to create this facade design in revit now if you look at this 3d view you would know that uh, this facade is has does not have an even surface and it has these irregular sort of structure if you as you can see here but if you look at the elevation of this building it has like 9 uh, 80 19 of these horizontal panels and 40 of these vertical panels and all of them have the same dimension as in the case of front elevation they have the same length and same height but if you look at the depth of these uh, panels you would notice that none of them have the same dimensions and they all have a very irregular sort of pattern uh, but if it had a regular pattern in the case of these uh, horizontal sections i would have simply used the technique of curtain panel but as uh, all of these points and all of these dimensions are different as you can see in, in all of these sectional drawings each one of these uh, is the section of the one horizontal panel like this uh, one section is of this and the other section is of this second line so none of them match each other so i cannot use the technique of curtain panel but i can show you some uh, but i can show you a method by which you can create these panels using the massing technique open a new architectural template file in revit go to the south elevation or any other and in here add a new level let's say at 10 feet and if you want you can change the height of this level let's change it to 22 feet it would be 12 feet 12 feet distance from the level 2 now in the messing and side tab or click on in place mass and go to the massing mode and first of all in the south elevation i am going to add some horizontal reference planes as you had as i have shown you in that image that the front elevation has the specific uh, has the has a uniform dimension that is each panel has equal length and equal width width uh, height as in the case of elevation so here i'm using the reference planes uh, to draw the elevation to draw the to draw that front elevation so that it is easy for me to uh, draw those panels with the help of these reference planes these horizontal and vertical reference planes in the south elevation after trying after placing these reference planes go to the uh, floor plan and here i am going to add some horizontal reference planes like this and i am going to add some more reference planes on each side of the reference plane which i have just drawn as you can see in the video now assign a name to this central reference plane i am going to name it one then go to the south elevation and check uh, select this point element set the reference plane to one which you have drawn in the floor plan and then start placing these point elements at these points like this then go to the uh, level 2 floor plan as I have placed them in the level 2 and then individually select these point elements and move them with the help of this green axis now as I have shown you in that image uh, that all of them are placed in an irregular pattern so just move them according to your uh, wish and then select these point elements uh, use the shift to deselect the remaining uh, the deselect the reference planes and then hide these point elements then go to the south elevation and 
then place some point elements like this on the upper level then go to the level 2 floor plan and again move these point elements with the help of this green axis now just simply keep on repeating this step on all of the uh, for all of these horizontal panels as you can see in the video now let's skip some part of the video now when you draw this fourth uh, you should place the points on this fourth element it cannot be uh, seen on level 2 floor plan because it has been placed above that sectional line so now you can work in the 3d view just go to the top view of the 3d and then as you cannot see the reference planes here then you can simply draw some lines at that exact same uh, distance at to which you have placed the reference planes in the level 1 floor plan and then again start moving these point elements one by one with the help of the green axis as you can see here now let's skip some part of the video and now you can see that i have placed all of these uh, point elements and also changed their position in the floor plan as you can see in this view that how they look like so they are at the exact position in the front elevation they have the same dimensions but when you see them in the sectional views you can see that they are uh, they have uh, they do not have the same dimensions as in the case of depth now in the south elevation select the reference line make sure drawn face is selected and 3d snapping is checked and then start connecting these points to draw the elevation as you can see in the video so now i have successfully drawn the elevation or uh, front elevation of the facades of the building with the help of the reference lines and i have connected these points as you can see in the video now select these three uh, reference lines of each triangle and select the uh, create form and then you can either give them a width or you can make them plain i have made them plain as you can see so now i am going to repeat this step on all of these uh, triangles one by one to uh, give them a form
now i have successfully placed uh, surfaces on all of these panels now select all of them and from this drop down menu select form and then assign material parameter to these panels and for these lower panels i want them to be perforated panels so assign an other material parameter to these lower ones now assign material to them from the material browser dialog box let's make them a metal panel now to add perforations check these cutouts and from here you can add you can select the type of perforations you want let's keep them stacked circles and from this you can change the uh, size of the circles its uh, dimensions of the circles for this other material make a duplicate of the one with the perforations and assign a new name to it and then click on the duplicates this asset so that the previous material is not uh, damaged and then uncheck the cutout so this is how the perforations are now in the 3d i don't want the circles to be this large so let's change them change their values uh, from this material browser dialog box so here you can change the diameter and the center spacing of the circle so the design of facade is now complete and it looks like this now let's exit this messing mode click on finish mode and this is how the facade looks like in the 3d so that's all for today i hope you like this tutorial if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to revit you can ask me anytime i will meet you guys in the next video till then goodbye and take care and most importantly don't forget to like share and subscribe